The constituency councillor of the Okorukambe, Rokongu Wawa, told NBC News that the work has started as planned this month with the construction of the bypass road as a detour while construction is underway. Gowawa added that through his office and the contractor, a list of local unemployed community members has been compiled to assist with the construction of the road. Another aspect that has been a thorn on the flesh was the issue of water to be used for the construction of the road, as community members at Epukiro Ashi had various demands if they have to provide water, but through local letters and the contractor, the issue has been resolved. All what they wanted is the social responsibilities to see what are they going to benefit from that. So, and they put their demands on, on the tables and the contractors agree upon on some of them and say that the others are going to consult the relevant authorities, which is the road authorities, and come back to them. And one of the demands that he said, they want a dubbing site to be constructed at their places and they want to be secured, even for the generation to come on the water that they are going to make use of. What um, did, was there a feasibility, feasibility study that was done? Yes, it was done. And they are happy with that. And they even wanted now the, the tight road that are going to be constructed. At least two roads, tight road to be going in the village where they are staying. So those are the demands that the, even the contractor said that it's possible they can do it. Gowawa also added that through the Land Ministry and Roads Authority, it has been agreed that upon completion of the Phase 2, then Phase 3 will commence, which is a 30-kilometer long road to Epukiro Post 3. Gariya Kawari, NBC News, Okorukambe Constituency.